Cal, you guys. It's American made, and honestly, I mean, we deal with a lot of companies, but the Venture people, they're family, they're just great people. They really are, I mean, we're, we're not being sponsored to do right. this, and this is gonna sound really hokey, this is what America was built off yeah. of. Yeah, that's when you I say American like. quality, this is it. Like, not Ford in the 90s American quality, you know, that stuff. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Now, it's like, this is American quality, dude. It's just, it's what everybody else wants to copy, and just, and here's the testament too, like I hate getting salt all over mine, right? I always get salt all over it. I've had salt on it for two years and it's not rusting. That's how good the powder coating is. Making it. Keep going. Keep going. What are you waiting for? <laughs> what? Keep going. What are you waiting for? You know, I probably shouldn't encourage him on things like this. We're making a video called Frankie is Frickin' Nuts. There he goes, on the bend track. The snow is way, dude, he's not even spinning now. What the heck? Look at him. That's crazy. in the grass and in the snow. I can't believe you actually went through that like it was nothing. Once you hit the grass. Yep, once I had a little taxing. Let's make some pass through here. Okay. That way I can walk the fox. You want me to like drive you down the center? Not around and in, in and out, who cares? Well, I'll have to turn around here because it's too close to too deep of snow here. So I'll turn around here and then I'll go down the center. All right. Hey, make one. Hey, Frankie, can you make one around the outside too? Tim, open and close that door. Tell me how heavy that is. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> open it up. That's heavy duty, isn't it? I've never known Ventrac to not make something totally heavy duty. It's got, you actually, tell me about the heat system, William. So basically, when you're gonna install the cab, she's gonna come down, sit on here. We won't totally go into that. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap into your antifreeze lines right here. And you get caps with the, the cab itself, so in the summer you just cap them there. In the winter, you're gonna hook those up. It's gonna run the lines through here to your heating system. You got three vents up the front. You got a fourth vent by your head. And then you also have the ability to reverse the fan on your hydraulic cooler, which is right by the joystick and right by your hip. You can reverse the fan and get your hydraulics, uh, the heat from your hydraulics blowing also right by your hands. So you have, uh, you have two sources of heat. Check you guys, it's controlled just by one leather here. It's called the SDLA, right? Everything's here. Only issue is, is when you're backing up and you're trying to use these two, it gets a little hairy. So they have a kit that just goes on the floor that you, you can use that or the pedal. Just like forward back, like hydrostatic. Oh. Yeah. So a foot controlled hydrostatic. Yeah. And it's it, okay. inexpensive. I talked to him at the show. He's like, oh, it's, it's inexpensive. Just get it and put it on yourself. I'm like, oh, all right. He's gonna go right through the middle of all that. I'm gonna go back over the same way and then come from that way over. Whatever you wanna do. I just can't believe he's doing it. He is nuts. I like him. Yeah, I really do like the way they build these. I mean, 
Plus mine has the coolest headlights, Stanley, look at it. You know that makes it more modern. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Guys, I remember the first time I seen a Ventrac, Honestly, I thought this is the ugliest machine I think I've ever seen. The design kind of grows on you when you start to appreciate the quality. That's yeah. the difference. And I was thinking the other day, you know what would be cool about this? And I don't know, you tell me, Stanley. What if they did away with the steering wheel and you just push these to turn it? Have you ever thought about that? Then you'd have no steering wheel. So you push, you know, this way to go left and this way to go, you know, I don't know. What? Oh, maybe deep, I had too much to drink last night. Huh? We're gonna call this Deep Thoughts by Dan. Deep Thoughts? Well, I don't know. I mean, I just, <laughs> I see things that are cool, you know? Um, and that, does yours have the lights on it? Uh-uh. Okay, so I added the lights to it. Um, lights are cool. I just like lights and I'm geeky like that, but I probably wouldn't put these on for my mowing needs because around trees, I hit trees a lot. Yes, a lot of guys, when they have that bar, which they unfortunately shouldn't do but they pull it down yeah no i would never do that just in case it rolled or disable the safety switch but i mean this is for you with the dually wheels if you're out on the side of florida highway or something oh yeah these out give the tractor tractor a bigger appearance can you flip that down show me what yeah. you mean yeah they come out so you have a wider stance. It's yeah. Kind of safer. Yeah. And plus, the cool thing is, is though when I do hit a tree, they bend. So I haven't broke any yet. Thank God. Oh, okay. But, so it'll bend backwards when yeah, you hit a tree. Yeah. Yeah. That's. See, it's. I don't. Man, stuff like that is really impressive. Yeah. I mean, that's a huge aftermarket option. You know, this thing's pretty loaded. It's got. A but lot that of looks like that must be a Ventrac design. It is design. a Ventrac. It is a Ventrac. And the cool thing about it is, is there's no wire cutting. And the Ventrac, I don't know if you've looked underneath it. Everything in the Ventrac is automotive style connectors with the uh, gaskets. So when I got these, it was just like, hey, just put this, route this through, and then right underneath the seat was a click, 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 done. And it just hooks up to the switches on the dash. That, that easy. That easy, man. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely touching this video cranky. <laughs> well, you won the bet. does it I I no I did not think it would do it literally I was betting against the vent track yeah that was so cool and I got a slope gauge you got a slope gauge on yours oh uh. All right guys, so a slope gauge is actually a readout that's right on the dash of the piece of equipment. And what it does is it tells you what angle your piece of equipment is at so you don't tip over and fall out. So if you hit 45 degrees. Uh, I, I got a slope gauge in my butt, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have slope gauges in our equipment. We just know that when our butt cheeks clamp onto the seat beneath it, we're probably too steep. Like I said, Dan loves his bend track. Dude, I do. It's one of my favorite things ever, man. It's just the coolest tractor. The only thing, like I said, I always tell people, the only thing you're missing with a Ventrac is the high-end loader, yes. right? They do have a high-end loader. It's kind of pricey, but if you really what? need that, you can put it on. But I think all the other advantages take away that disadvantage. And honestly, how often do you really use, you know, me personally, I don't use that loader going oh, over. Oh, hell, I'd use it all the time. But I use it for like, I like lifting things, right? All right, guys, so I actually didn't know that Ventrec made a high-end loader, so I did a little bit of research and I found this clip. Now, the guy's voice kind of reminds me of being back in high school. It's either going to put you to sleep or in some kind of a weird hypnotic trance, but the video itself is actually pretty cool. Versatility has a new name. The Ventrec Versaloader is one attachment capable of performing seven different tasks. Like traditional loaders, the Versaloader offers you a standard five cubic foot bucket capable of lifting 500 pounds over six feet high. 
The versatile design allows you to disconnect and get attached to six other optional attachments in minutes without tools or heavy lifting. Choose from tine forks, pallet forks, a nine cubic foot mulch bucket, a boom lift, or even a hydraulic driven post hole digger or tree auger. It'd be cool to like just have a You could, lift. if you had the high end loader with your dump trailer, that would be perfect for you for loading. Yeah, but with the dump trailer, I ended up just driving up the ramps and dumping in. Oh, there. dumping inside? Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I get what you're saying. It's probably more efficient with a dump loader, but that's why this is not a conventional tractor at all. So here's some of the stuff I've been able to do with the Ventrek out on my job sites. It's got a grading attachment that is phenomenal. Those eight wheels help the machine float over the ground and then that grading bar on the front of it lets you get a finished grade better than any piece of heavy equipment I've ran out of my job sites. So yes, I've used the same attachment on skid loaders. This is better. Now he's gonna reverse the blades. He's gonna reverse the tiller and go forward. Get power rake in forward or reverse. For prepping for sod, this is the bee's knees. That thing just did an hour and a half's worth of, worth of work in maybe five minutes? Not even five minutes. It's on my, on my, my counter on the video camera, it's two minutes and 36 seconds. Yeah, it's an awesome machine. Utensil? Toy. <laughs> tool. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> toy tool? Yeah. Toy. Now Ventrek has a lot of different attachments that run off a combination of pulleys, hydraulics, or both. Now the first time I seen these pulleys, I'll be quite honest with you guys, I was like, what is this thing from the 1920s or something? I really had my doubts and my reservations and then I actually started to use the attachments that were ran off from the pulleys and I really started to like it because anytime you start to overtax the attachment it gives you instant feedback it'll it'll stop you can hear the pulley you can start to get the feel for it and you can go all right I know what the limits of this attachment are in all honesty I absolutely love the pulley system that they have with this Ventrac unit. It's much better than I ever thought it would be. The quality of the Ventrac attachments is also amazing. If you are going to, I don't even know if they make aftermarket attachments for Ventrac. If they do that aren't made by Ventrac, I don't know anything about them. I do know that the Ventrac attachments themselves are every bit as good as the machine. So, if you're looking at getting attachments, make sure that you get Ventrac attachments because they are just good. Just plain and simply, they're good. Ventrac.com, you guys, check it out. Great people. Call over there if you have questions. Call your local dealer. Everybody asks us about price. They range anywhere from the low teens for a basic tractor all the way up, and then you can get your accessories. But what you're buying is quality accessories. Yeah, they do make good stuff. Plain and simple. Ventrek makes quality, very good tools. Yeah, it's gonna suck when they come out with a new 4500. <laughs> <laughs> I, might be, I might be broke for a while. <laughs> We're gonna have tractor envy. I know, they're gonna be like, oh man, this old tractor, you know? <laughs> We're both gonna be calling up Ventrek. God, we got the old model. Yeah, the old, how are those new ones? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have to check those things out, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I absolutely love it. Well, thanks, Dan. Hey, and if you guys don't know yet, Tools in Action, go check out Dan. Check out Eric. Eric's not here right now, but check these guys out. I love these guys. Uh, thanks for letting me crash effect. I went to Michigan, and I was coming back. It was midnight, and I'm like, I'm so tired. Dan, can I sleep at your house? Yeah, come on in. Hang out. He can always crash He locked his door. I couldn't get in there in the middle of the day. I don't know why, but... Uh, <laughs> no, dude, you're always welcome. We love the Dirt Monkey, Dirt Monkey University. I'm actually going to start going to Dirt Monkey University soon. Nice. I'm thinking. I got to get into that school mode, you know, because I want to start learning. 
<laughs> check out Tools in Action, guys. Make sure you go over to Tools in Action. Check them out. They're my buds. Great people. Fun reviews. You guys, check them out. Stop it.